Okay, so just going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the, um, the stepper motor with the driver board um, and then controlling it via the Uno. Um, they basically take four inputs um, from the Arduino. I mean, I know there's more wires there, but uh, it's the only connection block I had. We're only actually using four. Um, it also takes an external power supply um, from 5 to 12 volts. So I'm just using the boost module to give me 12 volts from my 3.7 volt uh, battery bank. Um, so what we'll do is um, before we'll actually run this I'll, uh, I'll take you to the IDE and um, show you how it's been uh, how it's going to be controlled. Okay so um, like I said, I've already wrote the code out um, save me writing it again so I've just I've labeled everything up so this is basically the motor and that's the inputs um, so we've got A, B, C and D which is also labeled on the uh, the driver board itself and we're using pins 5, 4, 3 and 2 of the UNO um, these are our delays um, these values can be changed um, the basic the delays for the different waveforms that I've put in in order to drive the motor um, that, that, like I say, I mean if you wanted to slow, slow the actual mo you know, the motion down um, like, let's say if you're doing a full loop um, you'd literally you just you just raise these values for whichever one you know you're driving. Um, that could probably go lower, but I've I was testing before and I'd, I, what I'd actually done I'd set uh, I set D or so as three um, when I first wrote the code out and I, I wasn't actually aware of it and towards the end of it. Um, so it was leaving uh, it was leaving C high all the time. Um, anyway, so then we've got our step rates. These are just literally uh, they, they can further on in the code it's basically counting to 510 and that's what the, all these values are really I mean it could just be one value to, for, for them all um, I just broke it out that way when I was testing um, this one is obviously our rotation value um, and the moment it's set to zero because we're going to be using the serial monitor in order to control the amount of rotations that we want and which waveform that we're going to be using in order to drive the uh, stepper motor um, this is just a pause. Basically, when you've done your revolution, or pause for that amount of time. That can be set to zero if you didn't want to pause in between. So if you just wanted to continuously do five revolutions, it'll continuously do five. You set that to zero. Um, but just for just for shape purposes, uh, I'm going to leave that set to a quarter of a second. Um, this is our void loop, uh, void setup. Sorry, um, and these are basically set in the pin modes. So we're just basically setting A, B, and C and D as outputs. And obviously we want our serial begin, um, so we can use the serial as an input. This is the uh, void loop. Um, these don't need to be in. Um, I was just using that whilst testing before. Um, so you, do, you don't need those in there. I mean, I've just left them there. Um, it doesn't really, you don't, like I say you don't need them if you're going to be here watching the video and uh, obviously writing the code out, you wouldn't need to put that in, so you can avoid that. Um, so this is basically the serial monitor, it's waiting for, for an input from the serial monitor and it's basically waiting for the rot value and the command value. Like the rotation value is basically how many times you want the, uh, how many revolutions you basically want, so that could be one to infinity. And um, then we've got our command value, so it'd be, you'd write it out on, into the serial monitor as one, if you wanted one revolution, so it'd be one and then whichever case value, so the, basically the command value is so a full wave sorry, full, uh, dual phase, should I say, will be four. So you'd put one space, four, or if you wanted the wave drive, you'd, spe you'd be one space, one, which would do one revolution of, of whichever one you picked. Or like I say, you could, you could have a higher value. Um, that's the first wave, so that's wave drive. Um, basically how it works is it's using the four statement. Um, so basically it's going to count, That's but all that's going to do is count. So I starts off at zero, and it's going to count I up, because it's going to be less than that value, so which is S, uh, S step, which is basically our wave step. And it's basically going to count from 0 to 510. Um, and this last part here is just what's plus in it, so I is being plus each time this runs. Um, so whilst it's running the first, it stays within this itself. And at the end of it, we're going to basically turn off D, because as you can see, D is still set as high. Um, instead of using highs and lows, I'm just using ones and zeros. You can you can do it that way. It's it's just as easy, um, and it's a lot easier to type out as well. So um, the reason I'm having to turn it off here is because if well, after the after it's finished, as you can see, like I say, one's it, D's going to be set as high. Um, the reason I've done it this way is because normally you'd have to write this out eight times in order to do it properly. 
Um, I've done it this way because it's simpler. Um, it's a lot easier to write as well. So it'll, it'll run through. So as it's running within itself, that needs to be high anyways. So it'll just keep running. It'll do its 5, 10. Then it'll turn this off at the end. And then it'll pause um, between each step. So that's pretty much all you need. And it'll run it that way. Um, that's the full step one. Um, they, they, they rotate differently because they're, they're pulsing in a different method uh, to the coils in order to drive it. Um, and in this one, as you can see, I'm having to turn off D, uh, C and D at the end of the uh, at the end of the rotation. Um, same as in double step, you can see it's, it's rotate out differently. It's, like I say, it's being they're being driven in a different in a different method. Um, same again. We're just turning off A at the end of this one. And we have the dual phase. I think that one's wrote out entirely different as well because it's basically we're pulsing two at the same time. So we're having A and B on to start off, and then we're turning A off, and we're leaving B on, and then we're turning C on. So it's like dual phasing, um, and then same again with the next one. So we're turning B off, we're leaving C on, but then we're turning uh, D on as well until it's done its full full revolution. Uh, I don't know if you can see it at the end. So we've got that's just basically the end of it. Um, I was going to put all these into a library, but you'd, you'd literally have to download the library um, and you wouldn't get to see what's actually happening behind the scenes of the code. So um, I've left it this way to make it a lot easier for you to see what's happening and um, obviously learn a bit from it as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll open up the, um, we'll open up the serial monitor and um, what we'll do is we'll uh, basically show you how to be wrote. So um, if I was going to... Yeah, I don't know, I'm sure if you can see that or not. Um, there we are. Right, so if we was going to, like I say, we would put in a revolution. So if you wanted like a hundred revolutions, you'd do a hundred and then space and then it'd be one, two, three or four, depending on what wave you want. Um, the dual phase is four, so it'd be space four and then enter. And it'd do a hundred rev hundred turns, like revolutions, um, doing the dual phase and then it'll stop. Um, like I say, I mean, you can you can you can take the delay out of the um, you can take the delay out of here if you didn't want that the pause here, um, so it'll just continuously go until it's done that many turns. Um, but like I say, I've just left it in there just for show purposes. Um, there's no reason you don't really need it. Like I say, um, you could just have that as zero. Uh, so what we'll do is we're not going to run it a hundred times because it'll take forever. So what we'll do is we'll run it uh, we'll do it five times, and we'll leave that as four. So it's, you always put a space in between. So, um, so you basically want five. We're going to have five revolutions, and we're going to do the dual phase. And it's, all you have to do then is just send it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the uh, the actual motor itself, and then we'll uh, we'll send the the data to the to the uh, Arduino. Okay. So what we'll do now is I'll send the data, and it should do five revolutions of the dual phase. So doing it this way as well, I mean, you wouldn't need like a driver, like a, a proper shield or anything like that in order to use them. Um, and plus, you'd have to cut the leads off the end of them because I don't think you can connect most of them directly up. I know the newer boards, the newer shields you can get, you can actually just plug them straight in because they've uh, got pin headers rather than how that one's set up. Um, but that's the basics. That's the easiest way I've found of, of running them. Um, and like I say, obviously, with the way that it's coded as well, it gives you the option to play around with things and see how things work. So, uh, so I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.